Okay, dokie. I was not planning on streaming for this, but I figured I should make some kind of video, and I figured it made sense to do a Q&A style thing for this new... Chronicle Wish thing. I... so I, I've read through it already, uh, but I'm gonna go through it again uh, in this video here. Before before I get to the Q&A from my live stream chat. And uh, that's fine, because it'll, it'll build up viewers and whatever. And... Anyways, I, I, to, to summarize my thoughts on this, though, I would say this this new banner changes next to nothing uh, about, like, how, how we acquire characters in the game, right? Like, th this, is a, this is pretty big news. Like, I, I don't think it's that clickbaity for people. Like, I didn't do this, to be clear. But I don't think it's that clickbaity to be like, this is the biggest thing ever to change in Genshin. Because it's, it's, it's honestly a pretty big deal that they're changing the way you can potentially acquire characters, right? Um, this is a gacha game. The game revolves around the the way you acquire characters, right? It's not as bad as I imagined it could be, but it's also not that useful. Um, I really don't think you should wish on this unless there... And this, to be clear, this is like good wishing practice in general, but... There's a number of reasons, um, like there, the fact that they have not mentioned, based on how they've described everything, there is no like rate up four stars on this banner, right? And that makes it less valuable to just like generically wish on, because at the very least, you know, when I am wishing for Shadow, like there's reasons to wish on on the Yai. Why is my mouse gone? There's reason to wish on Yai and Chow's banner here. Because you have a rate up for Yao Yao, Ning Wang, or Xinyan if you want any of them, right? So, that is not the case with this new banner, and it has its own separate pity. Uh, and it's and there's like a number of requirements for characters um, or weapons. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. The, the weapons don't actually have a specific requirement. I think they can technically throw whatever weapon they want on here, but it, I'm guessing they're only going to throw the weapons of like the, the characters that are potentially on here or the weapons that. Like Dia's weapon, like Dignari's weapon, that can't be acquired otherwise. This is how you acquired those now, which is uh, so I don't know. It's good that there's a way to get those weapons now, but you know, I'll talk about the weapon portion of this banner. Um, there's there's some unknowns. I I will probably make a video like being you know something along the lines of you know I spent this money so you didn't have to on on this banner because I'm not gonna spend my my savings on it, but I, I will spend actual money on it. Um, just for the purposes of the video, because I'll probably get my money back from when making the video, right? So I'm gonna waste money on this banner when it comes out, uh, mostly to test out specific things that are unknown, um, which I'll, I'll, I'll discuss here shortly. So, anyways, yeah, yes, and 50-50 and pity does not carry over, that is notable. It's This kind of functions like the weapon banner, where in, to get the guarantee character or weapon you want, it's you get a fate point. It's not as bad as weapon banner, where you need to lose it twice, you only need to lose it once, but you really only want to wish on this banner, basically, when you specifically saved up enough to guarantee. So, like, you want Eula. If you've got, like, a normal pity's amount of wishes, like, if Eula had her own dedicated banner, right, you need about 150 to 160 wishes to guarantee if you got a 50-50 loss, and then the, your guarantee after that, hitting pity twice. That's going to be the same as this banner, right? The difference is that you have a chance to get you know, a, a different subset of characters, because if you choose Eula, you might get Mona, Albedo, Glee, Deluca, or Jean as your off rate ups instead of the normal 50-50 losses, uh, which that is some upside, depending on what characters you have. And it is cool. It is very cool, honestly. Like, if you like standard banner characters, um, you know, I, let me switch to my game again. It is cool that this banner will... Oops, I just clicked on something. Uh, this banner will allow for, you know, if, if I want to... What are, what are my standard banner characters? Uh, so, like, when Dia, honestly, like, genuinely, when Dia shows up on one of these potential banners in the future, which we have no idea when, because I didn't say anything, whether they're gonna... They're not gonna consistently run these. They very specifically worded in the post, by the way, that they're going to run these from time to time, which is to say whenever the heck they feel like it, which this doesn't even necessarily... So, so that's to say, it doesn't even necessarily mean Eula's gonna get a rerun. Like, you can't... It, like, hopefully, you will be able to get Eula more than one time per year or two. <laughs> but they might only run this banner one time per year, and that would suck. So I sincerely hope they do... My, my hope is that most patches, they run this style of banner. Um, anyways, I would genuinely wish, uh, like, for more Dia constellations, because I'm insane. And, uh, <laughs> but 
you know, having a, having a consistent way to acquire more standard banner characters uh, and other less desirable characters that they could theoretically run more often, right? Like getting getting C2 Gene would actually be kind of cool for me. That might be what I actually do in trying to test out things in this banner. Um, because, like, like, I haven't gotten to Gene Constellation since I literally started playing this game two years ago, and Gene C2 is interesting, and it's one of the rare movement speed buffs in the game, right? Uh, you know, there's reasons to potentially get Gene C4, too. Although Gene C4 is only... But we're not going to get into that. Point is, right, there, there's a reason I could, you know, if Kaching shows up in this banner, I could try to, like, purposely get C6 Kaching, because I'm cursed by Kaching. And you get the point, right? Uh, that is a cool... It, it is cool that there is ways to purposely try to gain... get characters that there were not before, right? Because, like, if you just like Kaching, and you start playing this game today, there's gonna... there was no way to get Kaching. But now... Kaching can theoretically uh, likely show up on one of these banners and you could specifically select her. That's cool. That is good. Um, this is an overall positive change to the game, I would say. But I do not think it wildly changes the, the landscape of how you plan for uh, acquiring characters or acquire any characters that you may want. Um, it just gives more potential access to them. That That's probably my, my like generic rundown for how this banner, um, what this banner offers. It's a positive change, but nothing that really changes anything crazily meaningfully. Um, one notable aspect of that is that it uses intertwined faiths. So, uh, it blah, 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 blah. Uh, where does it even say that? I don't know. It, it, it says it somewhere in here. You use intertwined faiths. You use your normal limited pulls. You don't use standard pulls. I really wish you could use standard pulls in this banner. I think this banner would be a lot better if you could use standard wishes, because I, sta I think standard wishes have an issue of they're just irrelevant <laughs> uh, when you're not a brand new player, uh, at least. So uh, they, they do next to nothing for you almost always. So but yeah, this banner can be potentially useful also for we weapon acquisition. So anyways, let's go let's go into this and then I'll and then I'll like answer questions that I see in my chat. Um, so if you if you have any questions, think of them now for anyone joining the stream, and then you can ask them a little bit later. Well, this the stream should hopefully need less than an hour is my hope because I want this to actually be a video people might want to click on. Uh, this was an off the cuff thing. I figured this was an easy format to do that was potentially valuable for anyone. Uh, so, anyways, when the Chronicle Wish event ends, will my accumulated wishes carry over? No. Uh, they do not. So, yeah, you have no pity carryover, which means, again, and again, there's no four stars in this banner that are rate-ups, uh, at least from what they said right now. Uh, I'm going to guess there is not. Uh, they bas they specifically said there's just, you know, you guarantee getting a four star every ten wishes, but, you know, normal. So, the, the value of this banner is specifically if you have a desire to get one of the specific characters on it, and you've saved specifically enough to guarantee it. If you have not saved enough to guarantee it while it is running, do not wish on it, in my opinion. Um, so if you have not saved enough to guarantee getting Eula when you want Eula for it, it is not smart to use your wishes because they specify right here, right at the start, your your stuff carries and does not carry over. So if you only have enough for one pity, you lose the 50-50, like if you select Eula, and you lose the 50-50 to Albedo, and you get the fate point, but you don't have enough wishes by the time the banner ends to be able to guarantee your Eula, you will lose the fate point, and that's it. I, I think the pity itself will probably carry over, um, but you really shouldn't. <laughs> so, uh, it shouldn't be a thing you want to carry over, because the only, the, the only value to it carrying over would be it giving you another potential 50-50 loss, right? It'll carry, it'll carry over your pity, but not the points that actually guarantee getting a character because you have to specifically like select a character or a weapon and then if you lose a 50 50 you get the fate point and then the next time you as long as you don't switch the next five star you get will be the one you selected eula in, the, in my example so yeah pity carries over the fate points don't and the fate points is what's important because the fate point is the actual guarantee system um there is no carryover of the way to guarantee the character and that's what makes it like you should not make it, you should not wish on this in my opinion, unless you know you can get enough wishes to guarantee the character or weapon you are wishing for during it, the, the time it's running. And notably, by the way, they, they haven't announced like how long they're going to run this banner for. My hope and assumption, crossing my fingers, is that this is going to run for like the entire patch of 4.5, presumably, but it might only run for a three-week period. Um, don't know right now, so keep that in mind. Uh, hopefully we'll find out when 4.5 is live in, in a weekish. 
well, I assume we will, but if it's not live, like when the new the new patches, when the new patch is live, if this new banner is not live, I'm going to assume it's probably not a, you know, a full patch thing, but hopefully it is. That would make it better. Um, uh, and then they give an example here of, you know, you saying, you know, if you choose Jean, you know, and you get Klee, you obtain one fate point, you can make another uh, 10 wishes and you don't receive, you're still 80 wishes away. Um, so the pity, they, they describe here as 90, uh, as 90 pity, uh, which is consistent with how they describe the, the rate for acquisition of limited banner characters. Uh, and notably, they don't make a distinction for the difference between weapons. Um, if you select a designated weapon, they do specify, if you select a, de a weapon on the new banner, you will only get five-star weapons, right? So that is, let me go to the, the image here. It, oops, I didn't actually select my tab. Uh, do, 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 scroll down. Ooh, no, no, scroll too far. So if you select a character, you will on, on this existing banner, and it seems like they're sticking to like a regional theme, right? But I don't think, based on how this banner is structured, there's no technical reason they have to stick to only characters from one re region. It just kind of seems like what the theme of it is going to be, but they could easily break that in the future. But anyways, you select a character, you will only get five-star characters. You select a weapon, you will only get five-star weapons. And if you switch your uh, designated thing, and like if you s say you select a Eula, you get Deluke as a 50-50 loss, and then you wanted to switch to a weapon for some reason to to because you changed your mind and now you want to use your point that you got to guarantee getting you know beacon of the reed sea for some reason um because it's a pretty good deluke weapon i don't know right uh th that could be a reason you, you, you do not want to do that because you will lose the fate point right so so when you when you select and start wishing once you get a five star like you want to you want to commit it's the same as the weapon better you want to you're going to want to commit again like plan for the worst case scenario as long as you plan properly, it can be useful. Um, it's not a good banner to just throw your wishes on. If you're going to just want to wish because you want to wish, do it on the normal limited banner. <laughs> it's not recommended that you do that, to be clear, but just do it on the normal banner. Uh, no J cutter, that's an L. True, I totally forgot about J cutter. J cutter is, yeah, because normally they, the last time they ran J cutter was with Albedo, and they didn't put J cutter on this banner. That's a big L. Um... That is a big L. I'm assuming they're just going to throw it on a, a... They're probably going to throw J-Cutter on one of these banners in the future, uh, is my guess. It, it is a bit of a annoying insult that they didn't put it on this one, though, in my opinion. But whatever. So, uh, what was I saying before? Um, oh, yeah. So you can choose either weapons, right? You can choose weapons, or you can choose characters. And the way they describe this, though, is they only describe it as pity is 90 but the thing is, Pity is not actually 90. Like, I have not any seen any actual real proof from anyone. Like, okay, to be clear, I think there is screenshots of people that supposedly went to 90 Pity. But the way that the like limited character banner works, for example, um, they don't say it in the details tab, but it, there's something called Soft Pity. Most players of the game, unless you're brand new, uh, most players of the game know about the Soft Pity system, which for a limited character banner starts at 74 not 75 it starts at 74 you have a it goes from you know your base rate of uh what's the base five sorry 0.6 percent yeah it goes from the base rate of 0.6 percent once you hit 74 pity it goes to five percent and then each successive wish after 74 at like going now 75 is like 10 percent. i don't know i don't know the exact stats it's been like kind of data mind you can research it online but you know Every wish after, like, you do 74 and onwards, every wish has an increasing chance to get a 5-star. And this basically makes it such that it's almost impossible to to get a 5-star at 90. And based on the fact that it is 90 pity, which is the same as limited character banner, chances are that they just copied the exact soft pity system from limited character banner for this banner. Although notably, the fact that they say it will be guaranteed in 90 means that it's and the fact that the banner only gives weapons if you choose weapons and only gives characters if you switch characters it's also possible that the the soft pity for weapon banner is what will be the soft pity for wishing on weapons on the new banner or it might be even regardless of selecting weapons or characters it might always be 70 74 like character banner that is a, something i also want to test out um, although realistically just on my own, I'm probably not going to be able to test that out, but I will still probably make some kind of video about it in the future. And th that could make acquiring weapons potentially like save you 30 plus wishes because uh, weapon banner soft pity actually starts at 63 for those that don't know. And there is a higher base rate, uh, of, of acquiring a weapon of 0.7% versus 0.6%, which means earlies are more likely as well. 
Um, but regardless of that, they do specify that it is a 50-50 loss. There's no 25-75 for weapons on if you select a weapon on, on this new banner. It is 50-50 regardless of choosing weapons or characters. And then if you lose a 50-50, the next one is guaranteed to be the one you selected. And yeah, and there's still a chance for earlies. My what what I would say to be safe to assume if you like you're you know wanted Tignari's weapon is just to assume that's going to take a character's amount of wishes to guarantee Tignari's weapon, which is not that different from the difficulty of acquiring an individual weapon on the weapon banner. By the way, uh, because of the fact that there is a higher base rate for for five stars in general, on top of the fact that the uh, pity system is lower. Like, it's very, very rare to go... I shouldn't say very, very. It's quite unlikely to go past 70 pity uh, for a weapon. And on average, basically, the, the, the let's say you want a Kagura's Verity for your guy, right? On average, the amount of wishes it would take to acquire Kagura's Verity is not too dissimilar from the amount of wishes it would take to... It's more. It's not that crazily different from the amount to acquire an individual character. It's just that's less valuable to wish in the weapon banner because, you know, you get less valuable, useful things. And there's more RNG uh, layers to it because, you know, it's a 25-75 chance for a standard weapon. Um, and then after the 75% chance, it's a, you know, split between a 37% chance then for each of these functionally. And it, it's more RNG. And more RNG makes it feel bad. There's less player control. And there's no carryover system. Just like there's no carryover system for the new banner, there's no carryover system for the weapon banner. Uh, and that's that's all the things that make this banner feel like crap. So, you know, it's not wise to spend a bunch of wishes on weapon banner for a lot of reasons. But the actual number of wishes it takes on average to acquire one specific 5-star on weapon banner versus one specific 5-star on a character banner is not functionally that dissimilar, is my point. So if, if the new banner, um, when you select a weapon, does not have the same base rates, because they haven't listed the base rates yet, they haven't announced... Um, that, you know, the base rate for a 5-star is 0.7% for weapon and 06 for character, or if it's 06 for both regardless. Um, they haven't announced it yet, but if it is the same, which I'm guessing it is, I'm just going to assume it is, I'm going to be pessimistic and assume, because I think it's more realistic, I'm going to be pessimistic because I think it's more realistic in this case to assume weapon and character will be the base 0.6% chance, and then it will be 74 pity is the start of pity. So if you want to guarantee either a weapon or a character, plan on saving about 160 wishes which is the same as kind of you should already be used to. Um, and 160 wishes if you were saving on, like, for Kagura's Verity should be enough to guarantee you Kagura's Verity most of the time, although sometimes you would need slightly more. So, like, it is slightly better to acquire a weapon on this new banner, probably, than than this banner. But this banner also has the chance to give you potentially other relevant weapons that they run alongside it. So I'm not going to say it's actually better to acquire a weapon on the new banner, but it can potentially be slightly better, maybe asterisks, especially when you factor in the value that there's no rate up four stars on either character or, you know, so evaluate it for yourself. Point is, it doesn't wildly change ease of acquisition of weapons or characters uh, as far as the, the rarity of them. That's ultimately what's important here, the important takeaway. And... It's just an avenue to acquire characters and weapons, like weapons that were impossible to get before because they hadn't rerun outside of when Dia and Tignari first reran, and, you know, standard banner characters that were not acquirable in any intentional manner. You just had to lose them to a 50-50 or get them on standard banner or whatever. And then hopefully characters like Eula, Clea, Albedo might be run more often functionally in this banner. That's the benefit. Same difficulty to acquire, but not wise to wish on just to, like, build pity. As, as unwise as building pity might be, and there is reason to potentially wish on existing limited character banners if you don't care about the five star on the banner, and there is value to it. There is not value to do such a thing on this banner. Save up enough to guarantee it, whatever thing you want from this banner, and you should be good. And plan on it taking 160 wishes. And if you get it less in less than 160 wishes, just be happy with that, right? And once you get the thing you want, cut it off. Do not wish anymore. Do not just gamble on this banner. If you want to just gamble, gamble on the normal limited banner. All right. So yeah, fate points don't carry over. Uh, there's a 50% chance it will be the designated item. Talked about that. 
Uh, will the item list change between different chronicle list periods? Are there corresponding rules? Uh, the items in each play, uh, period may change. For details, please stay tuned. This is what I mentioned before, wherein they didn't really specifically say that they had to be in a specific region, right? Like, all these characters are from the Mondstadt region, so it seems like they are going to probably stick to that theme, maybe, but they have not committed to that. So that is not, like, a rule for them. They could easily just throw Eula, Child, Zhongli, for some reason, together. Uh, the only qualifier for a character showing up on this banner is actually just specifically if uh, only event exclusive five star characters that have already had a character event wish or character event wish two at least three times. So a character has to have at least three banners. So notably, I would consider this banner as a potential avenue for acquiring uh, characters that are less popular, less desirable for whatever reason, right? And one of those characters that like I wanted to acquire soon uh, because I want her for shenanigans with herself or for shenanigans with like DPS Charlotte, DPS Diona that I plan on making videos for. And that's good old Shen Ha. Uh, Shen Ha's an interesting character, but she's quite niche because she's relegated to cryo buffing. And cryo is just not the most relevant DPS element in the game, realistically. So having a cryo unit that specifically buffs other cryo units is not the most useful thing. But if you're a player like me, it's actually someone like, I finally have reason to potentially want her just for silly video ideas and have fun with her because that's, you know, it's someone that can enable me to have slightly more fun in the game, may as well try to get her, right? Um, she's a less desirable unit, though, so I could actually foresee it making a lot of sense for them to put her on a banner like this. That Except she hasn't had three banners yet. <laughs> this character's been out for two years and has only had two banners. So, yep, <laughs> yep, <laughs> which is honestly fine in my case because I, I like I right now I actually have a guarantee for a character. So if Shenha reruns alongside I don't know Arlequino, I can decide between getting Arlequino with my guarantee or or Shenha. But at the same time, it would have been cool to potentially have Shenha on a banner, right? And uh, let me switch back here. It would have been cool to have Shenha a banner, and I don't know. Let's let's get, get away from that. And you have I don't know. Let's let's imagine like a leeway banner is Shenha, and I slash Shenha, and then like Tartag is on the banner. Tartag is never someone I'm gonna intentionally pull for. Um, but if I got him as an off rate, it'd be kind of interesting, right? Or I don't know. Let's like go in Fiery Tail Land because like Zhongli is also a character I don't intend to ever intentionally pull, pull for. I don't think he'd show up on this banner, but he could. He's had three banners, I think. Has he? Yes. No, he's definitely had three banners. He had his original banner. He's had two reruns since I started playing. So he's had three banners. So Zhongli could technically show up as banner. Now, I don't suspect they're going to put Archons on these banners very often, but they could. And that would be cool as a way to rerun. It, this this banner could be cool as a way to rerun both desirable and undesirable characters, is my point. And I think the idea of potentially being able to lose a 50-50 to Zhongli is cool, conceptually, to make it more worthwhile to wish on this banner, right? It's just going to depend on the characters they run. But Shenha cannot show up on this banner right now. She needs another proper rerun, <laughs> which is stupid. So, I don't know. Hopefully so I can make content around Shenha on my main account. She gets her rerun soon, but it's not in 4.5, so... Eh. Oh well. Uh, is what it is. Let me go back to vibe in the background here. do 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 uh, do do And, uh, talk about that. Okay. Will the item list change? That's what I just talked about. Uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see. And event exclusive five star characters that have already appeared in Chronicle Wish may still appear in future Chronicle Wishes at, or other types of event wishes. So that's to say they're still basically like, you know, they can throw Albedo in this banner and still rerun Albedo directly, right? Uh, but realistically, they're probably not going to, right? <laughs> like, like the part of the a big part of the reason the banner this banner exists is to solve the issue of they're constantly releasing new characters. But there's only so there's an ever growing list of characters that potentially need a rerun. But the if unless they change the timings of the banners or just constantly reintroduce more banners running simultaneously, right? There's a problem of if you're not changing the amount of wishes people are given for free, and like a new player joins the game and there's like three active character banners, it's like too much choice, right? Like like so so it makes sense in, in as as a method for them to allow flexibility for themselves to rerun characters that are otherwise not as relevant to rerun but still give players an access to them in some form but more than ever more than ever what this means is you should save your wishes until you have enough to guarantee the characters you want this banner is not a banner friendly to you just being like 
Eh, I'll wish on it if I win the 50-50, cool, I got this character. If I don't win the 50-50, cool, I have a guarantee for the future. You do not have a guarantee for the future on this banner. Do not do that mentality. Only wish on this banner if you have enough to guarantee the thing you specifically want. Okay, I'm stressing that a lot because it's important. <laughs> this banner will bite you in the arse, and you might just throw a pity's worth of wishes down the toilet if you do that. Okay, so don't do that. Right? If you want to throw pays worth of wishes down the toilet, at least do it on the limited banner. Because even if you don't get the four stars you want on the limited banner, uh, at least you you will get like a guarantee for the future. Right? So, you know, that that's all there is to it. If you're gonna be stupid, be slightly smarter than completely stupid. <laughs> so, anyways. When will Chronicle Wish be available? Is the last thing I think on the post. Chronicle Wish events will be available from time to time. I mentioned this before. So they have no commitment that they're going to run this every patch. I think they should run this every patch, personally. Um, I think it's going to be confusing to potential new players, especially if they jump on and this is just running occasionally and running not occasionally. I think it should be permanently up. But this phrasing very specifically means to me it's probably not going to be up permanently. It's just going to be up when they feel like, you know, uh, crap, we haven't run Eula and Albedo and Klee in a while. I guess we got to do another one of these, right? That's what it feels like to me. But we'll see. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I think I mentioned the important things uh, about it. So I think it's time to uh, answer any any questions that you have that I can potentially answer based on the... I, well, I say potentially answer. I, might, I don't know all the details. Like I mentioned, there's there's unknowns about... It's possible that the pity, the soft pity amount, because they never disclose the soft pity in game, anyways. Um, it's possible that the soft pity amount might be different depending on whether you choose a weapon or a character or not. I don't know that, um, and uh, so I'm not going to be able to answer everything. But at least based on my existing knowledge of how you know the statistics of wishing works, I think I can answer things hopefully in a fairly objective manner to, to recommend people think about. Uh, so let me take a take a browse through chat here. Do do do. They might do one every two patches, yeah. So anyways, questions, hit me with questions. So yeah, it, it is kind of like the weapon banner in that, yes, you should you should only wish on this, you know, if you want one specific thing from it, you should only wish on it, which is generally what you're wishing on this for. Uh, you should only wish on it when you have enough to guarantee it. So like in the weapon banner's case, that's like having about 200 wishes is kind of the worst case scenario. Usually it won't take you 200 wishes to guarantee Cogger's Verity, but you should probably just in case save 200 wishes. Um, in the case of this new banner, it's going to be likely save about 150 wishes to guarantee the thing you want, right? Uh, in, in that, well, more like 160 in the worst case scenario, but I say 150 because usually you can scrounge up the last few extra wishes if you need to, right? But if you are really planning, plan on potentially 160. Because cause going, going any past 80 pity is quite unlikely on... on Normal, normally, and, and that's assuming that's assuming that the soft pity works the same. I'd be surprised if it were differently, because like why they were, they've already got a formula that it works. Why why introduce more confusion to it? But maybe like they find it financially beneficial to introduce confusion. Like if soft pity starts at eighty five for this new banner, this new banner is a lot worse. So keep that in mind too. Um, I, I am operating on the assumption that soft pity works the same, and it probably does. But it might not, right? They could easily have it be, oh no, there's no soft pity at all. You have to go to 90 pity to guarantee a character or a weapon. And suddenly it's a lot worse, ain't it, right? Because that's that's another 30 pulls <laughs> that you're gonna that's that you're gonna have to use. Um, so yeah, 180 and 210, not much of a difference. Yeah, so. It should last two patches. The special banner, yeah, that would be interesting. I, I think, um, like, like not not changing it every patch would be a, kind of a cool idea, right? If it's just a banner that latch, lasts, what is it, two patches? That's three months, right? So it's a ninety day banner. I think that'd actually be really cool because that means uh, like any player that is like currently that just like starts playing the game, for example, now, like if I, you know, wanted to be rude to my friends and recommend they play Genshin Impact, don't do that if you're actually a friend to people. <laughs> this is a joke, kind of. <laughs> um, you know, the, if I had, if I told them to play right now, a problem that Genshin has is that oh, <laughs> Chao's banner. You could find Shao or Yai super fun, but LOL, have fun trying to guarantee getting Yai or Shao as a new player um, without actually losing your mind. 
right? <laughs> like, hopefully you're not working at all in those last two weeks or you don't have any schoolwork to work on, right? <laughs> like, you, you got to dedicate your life to, to just Genshin in those 10 days if you want even a chance at guaranteeing them. And even then, I don't even know if you could feasibly. Um, so this new banner potentially if it did spam multiple patches i think is a cool idea for particularly for new players offering an avenue to be like hey here's more options as a new player where you could dump wishes in the toilet <laughs> i don't think new players should necessarily wish on it but as an option it's good right having more options is good i think this new banner is an overall net gain like i said but uh yeah so anyways uh, I hope it lasts longer. I think the idea of it lasting for two patches and then them changing it up every like it's permanently there, but it runs every two patches. It ch only changes every two patches would be cool. Um, but I don't know if they're actually going to do that, and particularly based on their phrasing. I suspect not. I sincerely hope it is at least more than three weeks, though. That is my main hope. If they're only running for three weeks, I'm going to be a little bit salty. I hope it at least ran runs the length of a patch when they are running it. It's pretty much a standard banner character premium for those who really want these characters. Yeah, kind of. It's like it's like standard banner characters or standard banner tier characters. <laughs> it's kind of the vibe I'm getting, but it's possible they run not standard banner tier characters, right? The, the only requirement is the characters run three times. So I suspect they will do variations of these banners in the future that are more valuable. Like it wouldn't surprise me if the leeway version of this banner has Hu Tao, Zheng Li, um, well, Shenha can't be run, um, Ganyu, Xiao on it, and Child, right? All of those are relatively desirable characters in some manner or another. I don't necessarily think they're all going to be on one banner together, but some mix of those characters that are of varying degrees of desirable, right? Um, I, I could foresee them putting on a banner together, and that, in conjunction with, like, hey, Kaching that you could choose or whatever to, to get intentionally if I wanted to get my, my uh, C6 Kaching or whatever, right? that would be potentially valuable um and to try to like like mahoya wants to give you the player more reasons to spend your wishes right like they don't they don't want you to just hoard your wishes so th i think they will probably make valuable more more valuable versions of this banner in the future when they deem it necessary to try to drain people of their prima gems right <laughs> because that's their goal is to make it so that you spend your resources because if as long if you spend all all your free resources that they give you for free or that you know you get from like the 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 welkin or whatever right then that makes it a lot more likely that you go into this page all right so anyways Yelan, yeah Yelan is a good example too of a potentially relevant character there's a lot of relevant leeway characters cloud retainer so anyways Chiori weapon banner is good. It's yeah. It, the, uh, of, uh, of well, this is a little bit aside the point, but yeah, the uh, Chiori's weapon is interesting. I'm not going to talk about it that much, but uh, it running with Ito's weapon makes it a decent weapon banner, I would say. Uh, Chiori's weapon is, uh, I'd say, in some ways more relevant than Chiori herself because Chiori's weapon of of the 88 crit damage uh, swords that exist in the game, Farina's sword is very niche, and this is this passive is annoyingly niche to trigger as well it's sometimes potentially really good but eh, eh. and uh Chiri's weapon has a little bit more potential relevance in my opinion but anyways. it's just extra reruns yes do 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 you can lose albedo 50 50 to clean yep what do you mean leeway version the characters are monster characters i know i was using i was saying a hypothetical leeway version right uh, because right now, I'm saying a leeway version, because right now it seems like the theme is going to be restricting it to, you know, one one region's characters, either, you know. So there might be a Fontaine character banner in the future, there might be a leeway banner in the future, because right now it's only Mondstadt characters in the banner. They specifically only chose both the standard banner characters and uh, non-standard banner characters. They chose to have the... What is it? What is it? Do do do... It was Klee, Albedo, Eula, and uh, Kaching, or K not Kaching, uh, Jean, Luke, right? Yeah, and Mona. So yeah, there's three standard banner characters on here, and then there's three limited banner characters on here. And so there, there's there's a theme here, right? It's Mondstadt. Is it always going to be Mondstadt? I don't know, right? I, I, don't, I don't know. The, there's nothing in, there, in here that specifies where they're going to stick to that theme. Uh, but that's my guess, is they're going to stick to it, at least for the time being. Um, I could easily see them breaking that theme in the future, though. Right. 
I want new strong boxes. Yeah, I assume strong boxes would come out in 5.0. New banner is crazy because if you want a character, you can lose a 50 50 to characters that are also limited. So if you wanted Eula Klee and Albedo, yeah, that's one of the that's the fun thing about this banner is the fact that you can wish for Eula and lose a 50 50 to Albedo. You can wish for Klee and lose a 50 50 to Eula. Um, that, that that is the fun thing about this banner. The weapon aspect is a bit less interesting since most of the weapons are just a lot of standard banner weapons. Not that all standard banner weapons are bad, but, you know, the value of the weapon aspect is not that great. And it's just like, a, hey, you really want Beacon because Beacon is probably the best generic... Probably. Beacon's a little bit weird, but if you want the Bacon and as just a generic... Five star Claymore. It's cool that it that exists, right? It's a lot better than going for, you know, getting Wolf's Grace or Skyward's Pride as far as like a, a universal weapon. So offering an option for that is cool. Um, but I think it's more interesting on a character level for sure. Um, and it'll particularly be more interesting if they put more relevant units because the, the idea, like I mentioned before, of like, hey, a leeway version of this banner, or even if it's not leeway, but just, and I'll say they're doing an Archon version of this banner eventually in the future because, you know, let's go five years in the future and there's 800 Archons in the game. Um, and, uh, this is an exaggeration, but, you know, you could have, you could have a banner that's Zhongli, Farida, Nahida, Venti, the, 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 uh, who am I forgetting? Did I forget someone? Raiden. <laughs> Raiden, and, uh, whatever the Pyro Archon is called, right? We can have an Archon banner. You can wish for Archons and lose 50-50s to Archons. That would be fun. Like, the... So it, like man, that would drain me. Drain me. I, I I would probably spend on it just for for the video idea of like the it's Archon Day, right? I like, I don't know. The point is like I, there's interesting ideas of having fun on this banner, but right now I'd say it's relatively boring, and it's very likely it will stay relatively boring, likely just as a strategic thing on their part for allowing them to be rerun the less desirable characters is my guess. It's cool. It's a net good. But it remains to be seen what, you know, we will actually get in the future. Uh, in this banner, Pity, you need to build or or can you join this like an event banner? Um, you don't want to build Pity on this banner. Uh, there's there's no benefit to it because you cannot, there's no rate up four stars, right? Um, um, at least based on what they currently describe, there's no rate up four stars. There is technically a chance they add rate up four stars. I think it would have been cool, by the way, because, like, again, if this, is a, if this is a regional theme thing they do, I think it would have been cool and it would have made this banner meaningfully better if it allowed like all like monstat characters right so if we uh like four star characters as a rate of four stars right so let, let's say like man it could have been a way to get like lisa kai and amber for example they could have done them as rate ups how cool would that have been holy crap a way to actually acquire their constellations that isn't buying two constellations in the shop every freaking year right so like, like that would have been cool, right? You're putting Razor, putting uh, who was the other monster? Uh, Official, uh, Bennett, Noel, uh, and I think that's uh, Sucrose. No, uh, Sucrose and St Dion, I think, counts as a monster four star as well, right? Like if they just did the like, rate ups of all monster four stars, that would have been cool. I think that would be cool. But they have not said anything. They're not doing that, as far as I'm aware. So, you know, do not assume they w would, uh, even though it has that theme, right? I think that would have been smart and would have made the banner better. And there would have been there would have been genuine reason because there's a lot of times where four stars are very relevant. <laughs> you know, certain four stars are better than a lot of five stars. And like th that could have been a compelling reason to actually build on this building this banner, but no, only wish on this banner if you have enough to guarantee. And the amount to guarantee is it should be similar, based on their wording, should be similar to the difficulty to wire any individual limited five star so save about 160 wishes and if you do not have 160 wishes you do not have the ability to guarantee by the time the banner ends i do not recommend wishing on this banner so well, let me go through can you lose the 50 50 to eula and clee here uh i mean yeah you could lose the 50 50 to either eula or clee if you selected like albedo or gene for example right um it's, it's a 50% chance that you get the chosen character or a 50% chance that you get one of the other five characters, right? And so, so yeah, you could use lose the 50-50 to Albedo or Klee. Say you're just like, in my situation, where like, I might genuinely do a video on it where I just purposely try to get C2 Gene, or C2 Gene right? Just for the, the niche utility of the, the uh, attack speed increase and movement speed increase. Um, and then, blam, 
you know, I might get a, I might lose the 50-50 to a Eula. I, I would never have pulled for Eula. So if I, that happens, I'll be like, yeah, cool. Like, like that, that's one of the upsides of this banner. Um, I, I think the value of potentially getting those kinds of characters that you wouldn't have normally pulled for, but still would be like, eh, I can do something fun with this character. Um, but you never would have justified going for, but you would be happy to get in conjunction with trying to get, you know, your favorite standard banner characters constellation for whatever reason. Like, yeah, I, I, I think that's cool. So again, it's like, it's like a value add, but again, I wouldn't wish in the banner unless you have enough to guarantee getting your C2 gene in my case, right? Um, if that's what you want. I only, only wish in this banner with a plan. It's, it's the same as my recommendation for wishing in general in this game, but it's a much, if, if you just want to wish for the sake of wishing because dopamine, it's nice. I know, right? Like it, then, then do it on these banners, <laughs> please. At least you can get like four stars that are potentially relevant. Uh, relevant to you. Do do do. I would invalid it. It would invalidate standard banner with standard wishes. Standard banner invalidates itself. Um, I don't like. You get so little value outside of like the initial like. Probably the honestly like the after you get the first pity on standard banner. The rate at which they give standard wishes is so freaking low that. The value of standard banner is just like like I have gotten next to nothing from standard banner for a long time. Uh, like like I got Yao Yao randomly recently, which let's see one Yao Yao. Cool. Uh, like woods it doesn't matter to me. I have R I've had R five woods for a while. Like uh, it's complete RNG, right? Is is my point. Um. And it's complete RNG with a subset of things that, on average, aren't that useful. The Tignari there is cool, right? Um, but like, there's no control over it at all. And that's just that. My point is, is like, the complete RNG nature means that these wishes just aren't that valuable, right? They're just not. Um, <laughs> that was a slightly scary thing to do. I mean, I wouldn't have been the end of the world to actually do 40 wishes. I've seen worse, but uh. Yeah, these wishes just aren't that valuable, right? That's the problem. And if these were usable on the new banner, I think it would have been really cool for increasing the value of these wishes that they give. Um, but, like, they're so low value because they're complete RNG. Like, you can't actually guarantee. Like, it wouldn't be, oh my god, it's terrible to wish on standard banner ever now because, you know, they they put in the standard banner characters, like uh, the uh, Kaya, Amber, and Lisa, right, on this new banner. And now there's never a reason to wish on the standard banner. There was never a reason. You don't wish on the standard banner for those characters. That's stupid. That's actually insane, Sylveon. Don't do that. There's no reason to actually ever spend your limited pulls on standard banner. It's garbage. Do not ever do it. Ever. <laughs> so, like, no. <laughs> it wouldn't be a problem to lower the value of standard banner by, by making it so that you could get the... Uh, to get Alba or get Albedo. Uh, get uh, what's their buckets from them? The 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 free the starter characters. Lisa and Amber Kaya. I forgot the beep. I'm sorry. Is a pity for weapon there also 90. Again, not actually 90. It says 90, but just like the character banner says 90. Um, they, well, again, it's possible they changed the soft pity. I doubt they did, but you know, character banner says 90. Uh, but yes, weapon banner, I would assume for now that weapon, if you select a weapon on the new banner, it is going to be, it is going to be 90, uh, or, or sorry, it's going to be the same 75, 74 technically, it's going to be the same 74, uh, for the start of soft pity as character banner is, but it's possible because of the fact that it only, like, the, the banner only gives you weapons if you select a weapon, and it only gives you characters if you select a character, so it's possible that the rate of five star weapons and rate of five star characters on this new banner actually changes so the which is to say the rate of five star acquisition changes depending on which one you select right and it's possible it's possible that it uses the same base rate for weapon acquisition as the the weapon banner which is 63 pity and that could make the ease of getting like dia's weapon much easier like i i would actually probably consider wishing on it for dia's weapon just as a generic claymore to have because it's only going to take, only, it's still a lot of wishes, but it's potentially only going to take me, you know, 120 wishes, right? 
uh, or 130 probably versus it taking 150 wishes, right? Like there's potential 30 wish savings there if it uses the base rates of the weapon banner for weapons and but we don't know um we we don't have the we didn't did not give us a breakdown of the base rates um and they never say actually how the soft pity system works they never have it's just been a ooh, it's a secret thing uh so i'd say it's safe to assume it's probably 74 that's what you should assume so if you want any any particular five star weapon or character in this banner save up 150 to 160 wishes It was worth it for Lisa, Sylvian. Was it really worth it to wail on Standard Banner for Lisa? Was it really worth it? So, anyways. Um, do, do, do old me would be dumping all their hard-earned premium gems in this banner and not knowing absolutely anything about it? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's why I made this video. To hopefully, hopefully at least provide some uh, information. And uh, encourage people to be smart. Standard wishes still cost premium gems, so what's the difference unless you've been saving them up? Yeah, the difference is that if you're spending Prima Gems for standard banner, you're not spending them on limited banner. <laughs> That's why, right? And and the fact that they give you right, if you could if you could spend these on the new banner, that would give more value to just wishing on the new banner occasionally, right? Like I would genuinely start saving these wishes up for the purpose of trying to use towards towards the new banner, right? You could save a a year's worth of these monthly shop wishes up, right? Uh, that's that's sixty wishes, and then it's not that hard to have like an additional eighty wishes worth of primo gems, and you could guarantee getting your eula, right? Um, and and they, 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 that could be meaningful, but instead it's just like, hey, a year's worth of standard wishes from the monthly shop reset here. You might get, uh, if you get lucky, you might get a random four-star constellation that might be irrelevant. Um, or in a year's worth of standard wishes, you might get a Chi-Chi. We, <laughs> right? Depends on you and depends on what you want. Like, But it's complete RNG. Versus like offering a method for them to, for these fates to not just be complete RNG fates would make them more valuable. That's all it would be. Uh, it would make these fates more valuable. Uh, but they're not it's, it uses intertwined fates so these are the same as they will ever be probably and now we have more banners to spread our limited intertwined fates between so now there's more decisions to make with intertwined fates than there were before which is a downside in some ways like it, it potentially is choice overload for some people is it worth it to wail on the new banner for Tignari's weapon since who knows when it's going to come back <sighs> as someone with Tignari's weapon um, I, so, so I got Tignari, like when I, the, the story of I got Tignari is I wasn't even that interested in him when he first ran, but I wish for him because I had some wishes. Like, I think I did a live stream or something. It should be on my channel somewhere. Uh, I did some wishes where I was like, Hey, you know, he's, he's Dendro new element. Cool. Uh, and uh, you know what? He's the first Dendro DPS. I'll try to wish for him. If I win the 50, 50, cool. I got, I got the new Dendro character. If I lose the 50, 50, eh. Whatever, I have a guarantee. I won the 50-50. And I had wishes left over, and my friends were egging me on, being like, Man, we are so lucky. And I was like, no, I'm not lucky. And then I did a single 10 pull on the on his weapon banner, and uh, got his weapon. So... <laughs> and his weapon is very, very good, though. For him, obviously. But notably, I think the main valuable thing it does is makes it a lot easier to build. Right, because it gives a bunch of free crit rate, and again, it gives damage bonus and increases the charge attack damage. Right, it gives him all the things he needs, such that it makes it a lot easier to build him. You can have a lot worse quality artifacts on him. This is a really good off piece, but um, and I have a good, really good time piece. But then I have like this this feather, <laughs> like like attack percent isn't that valuable on him. In fact, why am I not using this piece? I don't even know. Um. That piece isn't that much better, to be clear. Actually, this piece is kind of a side grade, so that's why. But, you know, you get the point, right? This is not a low stat value piece. Like, it's a good artifact. Don't throw artifacts like these away. But, you know, if this was EM instead of attack percent, that was A EM instead of attack percent, S to your piece. This is like, uh, without it, right? So, like, I don't have a bad build, to be clear, but I've had Tignari for a long time, and I've played the game for a long time. Um, for, for quite a while, he was on a much worse build, and he still performed really, really well because I always had his weapon. 
Like, it just gives him so much of the crit rate he needs that, um, like, I, I could actually, like, run much less crit rate on him now, especially because I actually have his C1, um, which gives him more crit rate, but I only got that relatively recently, too. So, you know, you get the point. Um, there, there's a reason for me to even shift to, to different balances of builds, because it just gives so many of the stats that you need on Tignari's build for free. That is just really pretty good. Is it actually worth it to go for? Is it worth it to spend 150 wishes? A character's worth of wishes, right? Is it worth it to get this weapon for Tignari? Um, or another character. Um, versus, you know, getting a Kazawa. Because Kazawa's rerunning. Uh, by the way, oh, one quick thing I want to mention with Kazawa's rerun. It's absolutely a strategic play because Arlequino is probably going to be a character they're intending to sell. Um, they uh, want to like, be desirable. She's probably going to be very flashy in some way. They know she's a desired character. Uh, and then Farina should be rerunning in 4.6 as well. So, gee, I wonder if it's a coincidence that they're running Kazua, the patch, before they're running a looked-forward-to new character and a very, very good character's first rerun, right? Uh, by the way, I honestly... I might make a video about this, maybe. I honestly think Farina is a more relevant character than Kazua now, but I'm also biased because I've been using Farina a lot lately, but... Since Farina came out, I've used Kazuwa a lot less. Kazuwa was still a very, 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 very good character. Um, but Farina's existence has diversified teams in a way that I think is really relevant. And I've, I've just noticed myself using Kazuwa way, 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 way less since Farina came out. And Cloud Retainer even furthered that because she's an animal and you know, I don't really have that much reason. There's still many, many use cases you can get out of Kazuwa. A lot of fun things you can do with Kazuwa. But... As time goes on, when we get more of a diversity of different relevant supportive units in the game, there is less reason to have Kazuwa, even though he's still very valuable, to have, right? So if you're feeling like meta pressure, but you don't actually have that much of a desire to get Kazuwa, I think there is not a need to get Kazuwa. There, there is less need to get Kazuwa than there ever has been in the game, right? And that's only going to continue as time goes on. Um, he's still a very useful unit. Don't let me stop you from getting him. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying... He is less relevant than he has ever been. That's all. There's lots of relevant characters in the game, lots of different options available to you. We are very, very, very spoiled for choice in the current state of the game uh, for supportive options to enable doing different fun teams. Kazuwa is one of those very relevant supportive options that can enable strong, competent, and fun teams and fun ways to use him. He's a really, really fun character, especially to use in unconventional ways, in my opinion. Uh, but you don't have to pull him, so, so that's my point, is if you, you know, you want to, you didn't get Farina, and you are just more interested in Farina as a character, for whatever reasons, but you're feeling like the pressure to pull for Kazuwa, because, oh my god, Kazuwa, like, save for the one you want, that's, that's basically what I'm saying. Farina basically killed Kazuwa and Shinto on my account, yep. Yeah, Kazuwa, uh, Farina is a, an overloaded unit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I, I, I still think it's freaking amazing how well they balance her honestly to, to make her feel relevant to diversify the things you can do in the game without it just straight up feeling like power creep like she's just a straight up enabler for more fun things uh, she's the character that has enabled the most new fun things in this game more than any other character has and um, she's probably my favorite character on a mechanical level for that um, I also really like her on a writing level but uh, yeah, yeah I still takes the number one spot in my heart as far as a character I want to use actively, but that's just like, if I'm being realistic, early game bias, or, or like when I first started playing bias. <laughs> and, uh, so anyways, Kazuo's grouping is S tier, yes. There's lots of reasons to still get Kazuo, to be clear. So, remember you didn't want this to be over an hour? That's true. I'm gonna take a look through any more questions and then probably gonna end it out. Would they ever make a fate point thing on standard? Probably not. I doubt it. The banner punishing this banner punishes you for being lucky. I say I got Eula and then Diluke after in the same ten pull right after, and then I'm locked in the sea when Eula are saying bye bye to the point. I mean, yes, that's the so Sylvan brings up a good point. If you if on this new banner you if you choose Eula and you get Eula, you should switch off of the you should switch off of the uh, uh, off of Eula and select something else. Um, but I think what Sylvan's actually mentioning is if you're doing ten pulls on on I'm not, I'm not in the game right now. If you're doing 10 pulls on the new banner, right, there's a chance that you, you know, get your pity Yai, for example. I could do wishing right now and get to pity for Yai. 
and there's a chance that the remaining wishes in the temple have an early five star, right? A double five star pull, right? And that circumstance is what Sylvia was talking about, where in, like if you selected Eula, you get your you get your Eula, and then after that you get a fifty fifty loss to Deluke. Then you have a fate point, but you're locked in. You are locked into getting C one Eula. So yeah, that is definitely a big bummer and a, and a, another downside of the of the banner. Thank you for mentioning that, Sylveon. If you, but in in the case of not getting a double five star pull, um, you can one avoid this by just doing single pulls. Am I saying do a doing doing? You should do 150 single pulls to avoid this problem. Uh, technically, it is smart, but <laughs> more realistically, it's just do single pulls when you're in pity territory, right? Because you you can't get two five stars in one single pull. <laughs> you can only get two five stars in a ten pull. Technically, you can get ten five stars in a ten pull. <laughs> and that won't happen though. Um, so, do single pulls when you are near pity on the new banner would be the smart thing to advise uh, in order to advise potential field uh, in in order to avoid potential field bad situations where you have a guarantee for another version another character that you might not actually care for and you might not want the, like the feeling like you have a reason to do it right you just you should probably just save so you know ultimately though if you get end up with random early five stars as with normal like i would always just treat it as a nice freebie regardless of if it's a 50 50 loss or 50 50 win and do not use it as justification to continue going further if you do not have the resources to go further right if you save enough to get eula i don't even know how relevant eula's constellations are but if you have enough to get eula guaranteed and then you know you're wishing for eula and you get two eulas at a pity temple right because you get a, you get like a 50 50 win or guarantee and then an early in the same pull do not use that as a reason to continue in my opinion um unless it's super relevant to you and you already have the resources but particularly if you don't have enough resources to guarantee that c2 eula which most people i'd say would not right like i don't right now <laughs> I, I would not um i don't do it right just don't do it just just stop consider anything that the the gotcha system gives you as a freebie a cool freebie and stop if you don't have enough to guarantee the thing safely without sacrificing too much of other things you might want right again like it goes back to only wishing this banner for the things used like you have a specific thing i want eula once you get eula be done if you get any other freebies just be happy and you can try to avoid not getting those freebies that might cause annoying things for as far as decision makings and whatever you can avoid that just by doing single pulls and pity most likely how am I the only one without Ziphos and Kozawa? I mean, that just means you didn't wish on Weapon Banner Victor. You shouldn't feel bad about that. I'll only pull for a weapon in that regional banner. It's not that much better. I said it earlier in the stream. It's it's not really... Okay, well, unless 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 the banner uses the, the, the same base rates and soft pity amounts as the Weapon Banner currently exists, but they have not said that, um, then it's going to be not that much better to acquire a weapon on the new banner versus this banner it's really not like it, it'll be especially factory in that you know this banner you have a you have a higher chance of getting a jade spear jade spear is a standard banner weapon anyways but let's say jade let's say this is a staff of homa instead of jade spear right um you have a 75 percent chance of getting kagura's or staff of homa whenever you get to pity uh when wishing on this banner versus the new banner if you're wishing for a weapon is only going to be a 50% chance for the weapon you want, um, and then a 50% chance for a standard banner weapon. And most of the standard banner weapons are pretty bad. Um, they're not that useful. They're not all bad. They're not all useless. It depends on what you have currently uh, and what characters you enjoy using, as always. But you're talking about a 25% chance for probably a bad weapon or a 50% chance for probably a bad weapon. Right, so the new banner has a higher chance for fifty for you to get the specific weapon you want, like if you only wanted Kagura's, but then it has also a higher chance in turn of getting the a more useless weapon. Whereas weapon banner has the benefit of you can be smart with weapon banner and wait for you know a Kagura's rerun that also reruns with a, another weapon that you want, like say Staff of Homo would make this banner much better. Jade Spear might still be a very good weapon for you. This might be a good banner for you if, you know, you like Shao, and like, it's obviously a good weapon for Shao. It's a good weapon on other characters, too. Um, it's, it's a relatively decent generic stat stick. It's one of the better standard banner weapons, but the fact that it is a standard banner weapon is what makes this one not, like, particularly great of an example of what I'm talking about here. But my point is, is, like, there is actual value to be had to the fact that you can get 
two five star, two different limited five star weapons uh, on weapon banner at a potentially lower base rate than the new banner is too. So I would definitely not say it's better to wish for weapons on the new banner. It's not. It's just different. And you should only really do it, again, if you have enough wishes to specifically, you want Tignari's weapon, you, you've justified it that it's more worthwhile for you to get Tignari's weapon than it is to get uh, a different uh, like character for you because it costs a character amount of wishes, then, then go ahead and do it. It's not that dis it's likely not going to be that dissimilar from the difficulty of acquiring a specific weapon on this banner, though. Um, on average, realistically, is my guess. It could be it could be slightly different than I expect, though. I did this only pulled on weapon banners where I needed both weapons. Yeah, exactly. That's the smart play. If you are going to wish on weapon banner, wish on ones where you only you, where you can get value out of both weapons. Yeah, 50 50 guarantee does not go in the next banner, correct? If you have even wall pull, one pull done, it doesn't carry on in the next banner. The pity carries over, but if you have a fate point, that does not carry over, right? So, like, like I have pity on the weapon banner. I think it's probably a small amount. Yeah, I have. What did I wish for last? Oh, I, that was dumb. <laughs> I, I remember why I did that. It was, it was for content. It's fine. Uh, so, I have nine pity, right? But if, like, if I had any points on this banner right now, um, the nine pity would carry over towards getting the next five star, but the points would expire. It's the same thing with the new banner. The points expire. So again, yeah, don't don't wish on it unless you have enough to guarantee the thing you want. Because of that, there's no guarantee carryover, but there is technically pity carryover, but it's only going to be pity carryover for a potential 50-50 loss, which might be bad or might be fine, but it's definitely not recommended. To just wish on this banner if you don't have enough to guarantee. Um, if you want Chiori questions, uh, go check out my stream from I think last weekend uh, about Chiori. I have lots of thoughts on her, but I think I answered everything. Okay, I think that's all I got. I went over an hour, which is unfortunate, but eh, whatever. <laughs> I could have been better about that. I think I was fairly on topic the entire time, so uh, yep, yeah, that's I think all I got. Um, it's not that complicated, fundamentally. Like I said, I don't think it changes much. It's mostly just, hey, a nice avenue, a nice potential avenue to acquire new characters that wasn't available before, notably standard banner characters and characters that got less reruns. Um, so it, it, as long as they do these relatively often, I think it's a net gain. More choice is good uh, for the most part, but to some players it might be that more choice might be a little bit overwhelming, right? So it's not necessarily 100% good um, to, to, to make the decision-making process for, for wishing more complicated. But overall, I'd say it's a, definitely a net positive. But mostly it's a pretty big nothing change because it doesn't fundamentally change anything for like how difficult it is to acquire characters. Uh, and I think genuinely the most meaningful thing is there's like relevant standard banner characters. So theoretically in the future, you know, it should be easier to acquire Dia if you specifically want Dia. Or easier to acquire... Tignari if you specifically want Tignari, or easier to acquire Kaching if you specifically want Kaching, or easier to acquire Jean if you specifically want Jean, right? Or Diluc, or Mona, blah, 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 blah. I think that's one of the more valuable things to it. I think it's a pretty big, pretty big L that there's no, no special, like, thing for, for four stars on it. I think it would have been really, really, really cool of them if they had added a way to get, like, Lisa, Kaya, Amber constellations, right? It would be cool to get my boy Kai out of C2 and give me actually a, a reason to use him. I forgot I, I, I forgot to buy his freaking Constellation 1 in the shop last December. Oops. Oops. Oh well. So, anyways. That gain. Cho more choice is good, but it's fundamentally not going to be that different. So, and there's some unknowns. I will probably make a video. I'll probably spend money on the banner to try to illustrate some things about the banner when it comes out. So you don't have to. Because I'll probably get my money back, or at least some of it, hopefully, um, through ad revenue, right? So I, I can justify being dumb um, in, 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 in that regard. And, uh, yep. Anywho's. Be smart. Be smart with your wishes. Plan for things, and you'll be fine. And this is just more options to give you more, more control, which is good. Over carriages you might want. Or maybe not. For me, it's mostly a nothing burger. And maybe for you, it's pretty cool. <laughs>